T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. 2, 1, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying 27 satellites for Amazon LEO. Spacecraft delivering fast, reliable internet to customers around the world. Strong closed loop control. Engaging first throttle segment as expected. And we've completed our pitch program. Pitch all continue to look good. Successfully completed roll program. Booster engine continues to operate as expected. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Engine continues to operate We're as expected. We're hearing Sarah Bailey Glasgow providing launch vehicles and data. Vehicle is now 6 miles in altitude, 2 miles down range. Atlas continues to move down the center of the range track. Now passing 1 minute into flight. Body rates continue to look good. Engine operating as expected. Throttling down, engine continues to burn normally. Atlas is now moving at 2,800 miles an hour and is 12 miles downrange. Vehicle is now one half of its liftoff weight, max Q, passing through maximum dynamic pressure. And we have good indication of SRB burnout. Throttling up as expected. And we have good indication of separation of all five SRBs. Engine continues to burn normally. We just heard confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. These additional motors augmented the thrust at liftoff to give the Atlas rocket an extra boost to reach its circular low Earth orbit destination. We're coming up on our next mission event, jettison of the payload fairing. Let's listen in. Body rates are smooth. Two minutes to a nominal Biko. Vehicle continues to move down the center of the range track. Holding acceleration at 2.5 Gs in preparation for payload fairing jettison. Centaur reaction control system pressurizing to flight levels as expected. Vehicle is past the Kármán line. We've ed exited Earth's atmosphere. Atlas is now one-fourth of its liftoff weight. Engine continues to burn as expected. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and CFLR deck jettison, throttling back up as expected. Flight commentator Sarah Bailey Glasgow just called out confirmation of payload fairing jettison. The composite fairing protects the spacecraft as it pushes through the harshest parts of Earth's atmosphere. Next, we'll hear callouts for cutoff of the Atlas first stage engine and separation of the booster stage, followed by ignition of ULA Centaur second stage engine. These events occur when the first stage has escaped Earth's atmosphere, getting above the Kármán line and into space. The Centaur upper stage, with the Amazon LEO satellites attached, then takes over on a trajectory to a precise location in space. Let's listen in as we approach these milestones. Boost phase chill down in progress. Temperatures are operating as expected. Engine continues to burn nominally. PU has gone to open loop control. Boost phase chill down complete. Temperatures operate as expected. And we have successful cutoff. And good indication of centaur separation. Pre-start on fuel and locks. Good staging. Ignition and full thrust. Our L10 is running nominally.
Engine could safely burn as expected. Steering has been enabled. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus five minutes. We just heard flight commentator Sarah Bailey Glasgow confirm the successful completion of the early milestones in today's flight and all systems continue to operate nominally. Today we learned about the Amazon LEO mission and its uh, ability to provide reliable internet to underdeserved communities. ULA's launch site also is going undergoing upgrades to support dual launch capability. As we wrap up our live coverage, we want to say thank you for staying up late or waking up early to tune into today's flight and remind you to visit ULALaunch.com. Follow us on social at ULA Launch and subscribe to our YouTube channel for launch updates, video, and other content. Before we sign off, let's take another look at today's liftoff. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. 2, 1, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying 27 satellites for Amazon LEO. Spacecraft delivering fast, reliable internet to customers around the world. It's all closed loop control. Engaging first throttle segment as expected.